Dana, the deck is absolutely just filling up down here. Everybody that's coming in line has a huge smile on their face, ready to get their pancake breakfast. Honestly, just look at this amazing turnout. It's, what time is it now? 7.30 in the morning. Last night's cold weather didn't stop Northlanders from hitting the stores to devour good deals. Dana, typically a coin flip can be the deciding factor for how a game's gonna start or where you're gonna go to dinner. Now that the snow has been falling and the temperature is dropping, Day Tripper of Duluth is ready to take you for some winter tours. We had a wind chill of negative 23 yesterday. What'd she say to that? She said, I don't want to come visit you no, until it's uh, a no? little she, warm. You're not gonna see her until summer. So if you didn't make it out last night, you still have plenty of time to get out there early and hit up the sails. Well, that's interesting. I wish we had that. Are we gonna take a selfie right now? Right on the air, yes we are. I wish Post, that we I'm had like that a, Facebook, a, a selfie <laughs> taken on live TV. Come on, buddy. In the country, just outside of Duluth, lies a place where therapy Go ahead and, and laughter come together as one to help those facing life challenges find growth and healing through a connection with horses. Good boy! The folks that have some physical limitations, uh, it's, a, it's a good builder for their core strength and their balance. Um, we've got uh, nonverbal clients that work on their speech while they're here. North Country Ride, a nonprofit organization, has been a helping hand since 1982. We celebrated uh, 32 years and it's um, just keeps growing every year. We're gonna put it way up on his neck. We are here to help people with some kind of life challenge, um, try to overcome that even in a small way, um, using horses to help them get there. And they believe horses can help with more than just the physical needs. Any variety of confidence building, um, learning to respect the other people in the class and definitely learning respect uh, for the horses. It's all in the rider's tone of voice. Waka. That proves progress is in session. He's delighted. You can tell the way he's just his body language and he's smiling and his speech is happy and he's calm and relaxed. And so um, he's, he's getting great pleasure out of it. What do I say again to make him stop? You say whoa. Lars Bettendorf of Duluth has a chromosomal abnormality that has led to some developmental delays. But nothing is stopping him from enjoying his time with his horse, Shiloh. Okay, I'm ready to go again. This is a great opportunity for him to get more comfortable with horses and have a good time and, and get some therapy out of it as well. Learning how to groom. There you go. And saddle up. Now you're going to put this foot in your stirrup. Okay, look at his head. There you go. Nice job. Is only the beginning of what they learn here. I think the size and the generosity of spirit that you see from a horse, it is just so obvious that you can connect with a horse. Um, it, they, they, they have to be gentle with us, and it makes you want to be gentle and kind with them in return. And the gratifying experience is shared amongst all who are a helping hand. Can you pull a little bit more? Nice job. And just see how much they enjoy the horses um, and, and what, what they really take away from it. It's, it's really fun to be able to do that for people. You really do gain yourself when you give something to someone else like that. It's their job to raise excitement to a crowd. But now energy is flourishing through their bodies as they make a road trip to Minneapolis to compete for the national championship. I almost have like butterflies in my stomach because I'm so excited to go. I'm so excited to represent East down in the cities at a national competition. It's, it's been a dream come true. Together, two, three, and three. But making it to the top means lots of practice. And they practice in June um, from seven to nine in the morning through the summer, um, four days a week, and then once school starts, it's five days a week from 6.30 to 8. We've been practicing since June, and we want to prove that we've been practicing since June. And along with lots of practice comes plenty of memorable advice. Pain is temporary, pride is forever. Um, if, you know, just push through it. Eight years have passed since Duluth East took the championship trophy home to the Northland, and they are ready to work together to bring back a second.
They were able to lock in two first place trophies, a $500 scholarship to nationals, and hopefully a national trophy too. We have worked so hard together and I'm so excited to watch the rest of the younger girls throughout the next couple years keep going with this and keep bringing home those trophies and showing our school what we have. Team bonding has made this team what they believe to be stronger than the rest. But making it this far isn't only about bringing home a trophy. To have fun with each other, to be a family because this is the best family I could ever ask for. A family that can work together, a family that can prevail through anything. We can take a bad day, make it a great day. And there is not a doubt in their minds they can make it the whole way. Look where you're at now. You're going to nationals and this is where you've come from. You've made it this far. You can finish the home stretch. And with all the teamwork and school spirit these girls possess, that is how they have gotten to where they are now. In four years, I'm so excited to say like this is the team. This is the team that is going to make it. We're going to get we're going to go there and we're going to take what we can. In Duluth, K White, KQDS, Fox 21. Just being the sweetest kitty around. Animals are just like us. Yeah. We need interaction, love, entertainment, <laughs> care, and what children can do for animals is all of the above, plus more. It started out as an experiment thinking, you know, connections of children and animals is very important. They have a unique relationship, and kids always want to do things for animals. <laughs> This summer is the third year Animal Allies is offering day camp opportunities. We have a camp where, called Perfectly Marvelous where children uh, take videos of hard to adopt animals and we put those on their web pages. We instill in children that there are animals that may not be perfect but they're still very adoptable and very loving. Correlating art and animals at the camp is one thing they take pride in. How does that benefit animals in a shelter? How can they use their art um, to further uh, you know, adoptions of pets and uh, and just care and thinking about the important things with animals. And kids aren't the only ones getting a positive experience out of the camp. Mr. Bear! When children uh, are sitting and sketching them in a kennel, the animal quiets and it sits and it's good for their mental state. Uh, it, it gives them that um, calming voice. The focus for last week's camp? Good job. Photography. The photography in general, I think they, um, they are everywhere with their iPhones. What are we but a, a visual nation? But it's not just art and photography children learn at this day camp. This gives them a chance to see what a shelter does. They learn uh, about our, our staffing and, uh, and, and how the animals are cared for. And those are important things because they're our shelter workers of the future. And what these kids take home with them at the end of the day? Perfect! Is priceless. If we can better educate them about spaying and neutering, about that responsibility of, of knowing before you get an animal, what, what that entails, if we can teach them some basic concepts of you know, humane treatment of animals, you know, those are the things that are so important is what shelters, you know, yeah. what shelters do. Before I get strapped up and gloves on, he got me a little warmed up, Rocky style. These gloves are heavy right now. <laughs> this workout was ridiculous. Welcome already. to my world. First rule of mud, man. Well, you got to get muddy. First obstacle time. Ah. Oh. 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 On to obstacle two. Oh. Let's go, Johnny! Ah! All right, what's next? Okay, climb down that cargo net, run up that valley. Really? <laughs> All right. Uh. 
Ah. Don't let go. Oh. These monkey ropes are impossible. Ah! 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 Come on! Fight! Come on! Come on! Ah! Dude! <laughs> That's so hard! <laughs> This is ridiculous. Ah! Come on, baby! 